A big thank you to everyone who left a comment uh, in hopes of getting a rock, but also all those wonderful comments contained just inspiring words for Austin and Corey. Uh, blessings and just how pleased you were that the wedding went off without a hitch and that it was turned out to be a beautiful day even though it snowed. So thank you to each person. Uh, we appreciate that so much. So Corey actually has given me a few more rocks than the five that I said I was going to give away. So I'm going to read uh, the comments and the names and then you will need to contact me by email. You will need to contact me at tipper presley at gmail.com now that email is always in the description below if you need to reach us um, and you can look there it's t-i-p-p-e-r presley p-r-e-s-s-l-e-y at gmail.com so you will need to contact me with your mailing address so that i can then send you the rock so i'm going to read off the names and the uh, little comments so you'll know that it was you and also, if I have contacted you by email, if we've already, like I've already said, that you are going to get a rock, don't worry about it. Even if I don't read your name today, you will also get a rock. So the first one that we drew was Freedom Lover. I would like to win a Corey and Austin Wedding Day rock. So sweet. So that was Freedom Lover 50. Freedom Lover 50. John Cordesco, I think. Cordesco's Corner. Would love to have a rock from the ceremony. Frankly, I could use the spiritual support. I'm so happy for all of you guys. Be well and God bless. Loretta Taylor. Tipper, put my name in for the rock. Sounds like a beautiful wedding and I'm happy for Austin and Corey. Thanks for sharing. Hattie B. What a beautiful bride. Your family is so blessed. I would love a rock for my little girl. She's four years old and spends all her time outside looking for rocks. She has a growing collection all through the house. I know how that is. Katie's had rocks under her bed and on the porch and in the yard since she was a small girl. Johnny Mayo. I would love to have a wedding favor. It, I think the snow is magical. I couldn't think of a better backdrop for Corey's wedding. Ariel Hart, I am so interested in a rock from your daughter's wedding. I was born in Kentucky. Your channel is special to me. Thank you. Brandy, Corey looks stunning. You all did a beautiful job with everything. I would absolutely love one of the rocks, not only to have something from you all, but also selfishly because I miss those mountains so much. I haven't been in years since my papa died. He was from Nantahala, and my mother grew up near Camp Branch. I lost him in 2013, and I still don't know if I can take the pain of being there without my papa. I really want to try one day. I live uh, my love for Western North Carolina through you all. So sweet. Mary Marr. So beautiful. I'm interested in getting a rock from your town, Creek. My great-grandfather had given my grandma a rock when she was a child. He told her it would bring her good luck, and after she passed, I looked everywhere for that rock and could not find it. To this day, I've never come across it, and I meant the wor it meant the world to me. Now I'm going to cry, but it looked like everything turned out just beautiful, and I'm glad your daughter will be close to you. So the little rock, if you watch the wedding video, the little rock that Corey had for her something old that was a small rock that pap gave her before uh, he died and she carries it with her everywhere and you may have heard her if you've watched their channel tell the story that when she was um, going one time flying up north to play music that she was so afraid she forgot to take it out of her pocket and then in the airport they asked her to told her something was in her pocket and when she removed it she was so afraid they would keep it but they did not they give it back to her priestess so happy for your family celebrations how wonderful and magical was the wedding day i would love a rock from the creek please place my name in the drawing for it i miss the mountains of north carolina so much and i can't wait to get back home someday the rock would be a piece of the comfort to me until then i appreciate your channel so much because it keeps me close to appalachia even from far away thank you for sharing your life there with so many and for those of us who are homesick god bless Run, Rabbit, Run said, Oh, praise God from whom all blessings generate. I am a lifelong rock collector, many for nostalgia. What can I do to acquire one of the rocks from Corey and Austin's precious wedding event? I believe I will re-watch the wedding video over and over. I love Appalachia and hail from the Tennessee Valley just below. 
I have been ill and stuck out in Texas to recover. I hope to return to my Appalachian home very soon. May the Lord place special blessings on the life of Corey and Austin for their future together. Let me know how to send a donation for one of the Keepsake Rocks, Tipper. I love your talks and stories more than I can say. God bless you and Granny and your whole big family. So very kind words from all the people. I wish that I had enough rocks to, to give every one of you a rock, and I'm sorry that I don't. Another thing that exciting that happened at the same time as the wedding was going on was two different things that really uh, made me feel good about the work that I'm doing in celebrating Appalachia and by extension should make you feel good about it too because each person here really helps me with that endeavor. Whether you read my blog, watch the videos, or both, you're really part of my endeavor of celebrating the wonderful region of Appalachia. So the first one was that YouTube they frequently will promote people on their channel. Well, for the month of March, which is Women's Month, they have they are showcasing different channels from music to lifestyle to all sorts of cooking, all sorts of different things. But I'm honored to say that I was one of the one of the women on the rise was the name of their campaign. So I have been featured on their channel this month. So that was wonderful. Also, um, uh, something I had never heard of but am so thrilled now to be part of is the Appalachian Arts and Entertainment Awards. I have been nominated for one of their awards for a vlogger, for being a vlogger for my videos. So let me tell you a little bit about them. I'm going to read here so I make sure that I don't mess up. It's the Appalachian Arts and Entertainment Awards, but that's shortened. They call them the Appy Awards, so it's better known as the Appy Awards. The awards are presented from a partnership between Big Sandy Community and Technical College, the Mountain Arts Center, the city of Prestonsburg, Preston, Prestonsburg Tourism, Floyd County Tourism, CMH23 and the Country Network, TCN. Um, and as I said, I was nominated for the best vlogger category for my video work. And I've never heard of the Appy Awards before, but I am so uh, proud to have been nominated and, and just can't, I'm so excited that there's actually something like this that exists. So I will leave the information down below so that you can click and go over. They award everything. There's all kinds of musical awards. Like I said, it was the music and the arts, but from music to... Um, uh, vloggers to graphic design. There's just a whole litany of individual instruments like best fiddle, best bassist, all kinds of best song, different genres of music even. It is just a wonderful, amazing list and I'm proud to be on it. It's also open to the public. It's a black tie event and um, but tickets are available for purchase for anyone. If you live near Prestonsburg, Kentucky and you wanted to come see that wonderful celebration of Appalachia, I will be sure to leave that information in the link in the I'll leave the link in the description below and then you can jump over and read the actual description. I'll actually leave two. I'll leave the one where you could purchase the tickets, but also one where you can just see all the people that are nominated. And if you look at that list, you may notice they got two things wrong about me. One was they thought I was from Kentucky, which I've already alerted them that I'm not from Kentucky. I'm from North Carolina, from Brasstown. And the other was they left an S out of my last name, which is of, often easy for people to do. Uh, people always ask us if we're related to Elvis Presley, and I say, no, he had one S and we have two. So that's the difference. But still, they've been so kind to me so far. They're going to fix up both of those little small issues. Uh, and I'm just very excited, very, very honored, and very excited. So this is spring of the year in Appalachia. You can see I'm sitting out here by the greenhouse. Got my one of my green stalks here beside me with the strawberry plants. Uh, we've got a few things planted in the garden, so be, be looking for a uh, garden, my first garden tour of the year. Uh, if you watch the, my most recent, one of my recent videos, I got our tomatoes started. I planted our peppers quite a few weeks ago and some cabbage and some kohlrabi, so those are all doing well. So I'm really anxious, though, to get it all out in the garden. Uh, we do have a few things, though, already planted, and it always feels so good to do that. And I have a lot of videos planned for you, but I have a lot from last year too, so I was going to tell you about those if you have missed them, just a, a few ones that are perfect for spring. So there's a great video where we go ramp digging, we go hunt for ramps, so if you've never um, 
seen a ramp or never didn't know about it you can watch that video to learn more about it and it was in just a beautiful beautiful place with lots of wildflowers so it's just the scenery alone in that one is really nice we also went birch sap in last spring that was the first time matt and i had ever done that and and you can watch that video to find out more about it a lot of people commented on it and want to know if you can like boil it down into a syrup you can do that we did not we just drunk it we just drunk the the birch sap there's a great video about one of my favorite rites of spring it's kind of like a rite of passage passage for us each spring is to have a big old mess a big old bait of kill lettuce uh, kilt lettuce lots of people call it so you, you can watch the video about that and see one of the traditional Appalachian real traditional Appalachian recipes there very simple to make but very tasty and and a rite of spring you're always uh, looking forward to that first mess of lettuce and onions from the garden in the same way that we we look forward to that i also have a video about spring tonics so you can check that one out i don't i didn't grow up really taking a spring tonic or um I don't do that today other than the kill lettuce, but lots of people did, so that's an interesting video. And then um, I have one about making violet jelly. So this, I've, the first little blooms I've seen around my house so far this time of the year are always violets. So I talk about the medicinal properties of violets, also how to make violet jelly, and then a wonderful game that someone taught me when I was little. The memory just escapes me who it was, but I believe it was one of my uncles. And I can remember exactly where I was when they taught me and then how it entertained us kids for, um, for when we were little for a long time. And it was fighting roosters with violets. The violets were the actual roosters, so you'll have to check that one out. And then also I have a video about daffodils, going to hunt daffodils. Daffodils are just the hark, they just are the, um, they remember when no one else does. Uh, and that's a line that other people like Lee Smith have used. And that, so I'm, that's not my original line, but it's a wonderful thing to think about is that they remember when no one else does. If you see them blooming out, um, out of the way kind of where you're like why is the daffodils blooming there no one planted them well somebody did plant them but it was just a long time ago and they're still remembering even though those people and the sign of those people are long since gone i also have a video about yellow bells the yellow bells are blooming beautifully in my area of appalachia right now as are the daffodils both and in that video i share a real simple way but i'll go ahead and tell you to plant da um, yellow bells if you want to plant some is they they plant uh, uh, they grow so easily that you can literally if your neighbors got one and they might share with you ask them if you can have a, a little snip a little twig of it and just stick it in the ground and then next year you'll have a yellow bell bush so i hope that you enjoyed hearing about what's going on in my life right now remember to send me your email if you were one of the people that won one of the rocks and as always i hope that you'll just keep keep on dropping by and helping me celebrate Appalachia. You've really helped me in so many ways. Uh, and a good example is the wonderful spotlight that's gonna be put on my work from winning that award, went, being nominated, not won no award yet, but being nominated. That's just wonderful that I was included in that great group of people for my work in Appalachia, which you helped me with by watching my videos. And I appreciate that.